this is Palico Apaja and welcome back to Rimworld, our second colony. First one didn't do too well. <laughs> too many old people. But we're back. We, we have uh, Soto, Victor and Cap with us now. And we came up with this little conundrum at the end of the last episode where we have Kelvin Gonzalez who's looking for a bit of help. He's a miner and there's nothing to mine around us. But it is an extra pair of hands. So I'm thinking, well, of course I'm going to do it. I'm a nice guy. Of course we're going to do it. So let's offer safety. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow this bad boy down. Wow, he's a tubby one. He is a tubby one. Oh, he's not too bad, actually. Can't care or heal people, but he's all right. And I'm hoping he doesn't get chased by anyone too violent. Can't be handling that now. So we'll, we'll let them carry on just in this slow time until whoever comes comes Kelvin is building something he's not actually carrying anything to us but never mind a group of pir pirates from the kangaroos have arrived nearby they are attacking immediately that's fine by me so let's do that and uh, well I guess I should have checked to see how many were coming one Manny surgeon got a steel shiv He's in a little pain. And he's a psychopath. Great, that's all you need, a psychopath on your tail. Okie dokie. What are we going to do then, group? Where is Victor? Victor's my best shot. Get your butt back here, Victor. And uh, Kat is a knifey type person. You get in there with Kelvin. You're no good. I'm not getting you hurt straight off. Soto, you can go there. It's a little bit closer. Here he comes. That's Psychopath Manny. Victor, take aim. Soto, shoot true. And quickly. Hit him. Hit him. Run away! Run away! Oh! Oh! He's down. Oh, we got him! Oh, panic over. Awesome. Right. So, our only issue now is we don't actually have anywhere to keep him. We could always build him on the back of the um, perspective dining room. Let's speed it up a bit. We don't want anywhere too big. We don't want to be too accommodating. He has, after all, just tried to kill us. I guess that is as good as any. And let's just put down a bed. I'm going to build him a proper bed. Better build a few, actually. And we're definitely going to have to chop down some more trees to accommodate for all this. Might be a bit too many, but never mind. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to build. How much steel do we have left? 21. Oh, God. We're going to have to find some steel. Steel's going to be a big issue in this go. Is that steel? That's silver. Marble. A bit of steel there? Compacted steel. Okay. We're going to have to get Kelvin onto that, I feel. There's a little bit there. A little bit oh, there. I think that's quite a lot there. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot of steel actually. We should be okay. It's just the getting around to actually getting it, which is a pain in the butt. There's a bit more there. A bit there as well. That should do for the time being. We need to make up those power lines. We have no steel. You can pick up the steel shift too. And we need to set these for clues or nerves. Oh, right, okay. In which case, you need to uh, build stuff. There we go. Right, so. Prisoner. Oh. Turning on prisoner mode affects the whole room since prisoners and colonists cannot sleep in the same room. These people will lose ownership of their beds. Tough. 
There we go. So we're everywhere. A, a small herd of thumbos have wandered into the area. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous when confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Thumbos will leave the area in a few days. Well, there's not a lot I can do about it right now, but whoa! Wow! What a majestic animal. But it's not going to hurt me, is that right? Am I true in saying that? It's not coming to eat me. And, uh, yeah. No, you, 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 you go, friend. That's fine by me. Oh. The surgeon's dead. Okay, well, let's strip him. <laughs> and we better build a grave site of some sort out of the way. Then again, we don't want it too far away because I tend to have very morbid colonists who decide they like to visit the graves. Then again, I suppose I haven't built anything for joy so far, so can't really fault them on that. That'll do for that. Our steel's going up. Uh, we haven't built a door yet, and are these actually throwing out power? They are, so yeah. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have some crafting tables. Uh, production. So we'll have a butcher table there. Cook stove there. And then... Where's my planner? Where's my planning tool? How big is this? Five, six, seven. Should I just put them all in there? I could, I, I, I could just have the butchering, butchering table in, in there and the cook stove. Hmm. Cook stove might be a bit too much. Let's cancel that. Let's put the cooking stove into the dining room. And we better get some furniture up before they start moaning. Not enough store, don't care. Actually, I do care. Why am I doing that? We'll do it in wood. Got lots of wood. There we go. Oh, mess that up. There we go, there we go. So let's put a door onto the fridge. Can someone get rid of that body, please? Before it starts rotting. Battery's been picked up, that's great. Let's uh, get those out of the way. They're all taking up precious space and it's only going to annoy everyone. We'll put a crafting area there. I suppose if I sort of do like a funnel coming around there to get the heat out. Oh, cargo pods, what we got? You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. What do we have? More, more meat? That's good, that's good. Lost the uh, colony. So let's set these now. So that one is set at 21, which is far too high. Minus 9. And minus 8. So that should be good. And let's, uh, let's delete that and start a new zone now, which will just be for our food. Clear all that, and we want foods, medicines, and animal corpses. I think that's all I need. And again, we'll just do preferred on that for the time being. Right, so we've got our dining room, we've got our kitchen, we've got our hmm, bedroom ish, we have our prisoner barracks. We have a, an eclipse. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in the front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. That's fine. 
shall we go ahead and build some defenses? I think we probably should. Just a couple. Just a couple. Don't want to be caught out again. Just one either side. That should be sufficient. They'll get round to the steel. And, uh, oh yeah, I've only got... Hmm. Should I build bedrooms next? I think I probably should. So how do I want to do this? Um, two, three, three by three bedrooms I think is the way to go. Where shall we do those? I think we should build them separate. I think because we're going to be coming down here with the manufacturing section, which means we're going to have have to have all our manufacturing items down here and stockpiles here away from the heat. It's going to be pretty warm for them anyway. They're busy. They're busy. So let yeah let's let's do bedrooms. So we want to. Get some wooden walls up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So five and five. Three. Oh, I can't count. So there we go. And we want to get rid of those. So more like pods than anything. So we want one. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five. So one, four, so that's two, three, four, five, because let's face it, we're going to have the future proof. Six, there we go, that's enough. Get some doors on those bad boys. Just not doggy. Why is he sleeping on my potatoes? Why are you sleeping on my potatoes? You're going to ruin them. And we shall put proper beds in there too. This is this is the last night, guys. I promise you. We'll, we'll get you some. We'll get you some proper beds. Everything will be great. You won't go mental. At least that's the plan. And I think that will become our medical bay. That's probably the best thing. And we'll put... Oh, no, we'll build a barn. We'll leave the animal sleeping spot in there for the time being. And let's have, let's have the doggy names on. Fiji. Where are you, Fiji? There you are. Well, it's... It's definitely going better than last time. For the second episode in. We do have some more steel though. How much steel did we find? Yeah, let's, let's get some more steel on the go, I think. We're not too worried about what are you hauling. Do you have nowhere to haul it? No, you've got plenty of places to haul it. I'm gonna have to start prioritising their uh, their work orders on before the next episode. That's for sure. But we'll just carry on for the time being. We have silver. Yeah, we have no steel. Mm. There we go. Got beds now. What would you do if I did that, and that, and that? Oh, where are you going? Oh well, that's 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 very nice of you, Soto. You going to bed now? Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Eclipse is ending. This uh, this thrumbo hasn't disappeared yet. So, <laughs> I could take the thrumbo down with Victor. 
but by doing so, I don't know if I did this, I suppose. Uh, but by doing so, there's a good chance that I'm going to annoy the hell out of it, and it's going to come and just destroy me. Twenty-five should be enough for that. Is that rotting? Did I get away with that? Fresh, awesome. What the hell's that? Oak tree. Cut you down. So we'll figure out who's going to be our cook next time round. They've all got beds now, which is fine. Let's build a medical bay, though. Shouldn't need more than four in there, I don't think. So we're future proof for more colonists. We've got our little table and chairs for the four we've got at the moment. We can always build onto that. We've got our cold fridge where the butchering table is. We should probably get rid of the tree out of the fridge. Got some uh, skin as well, some iguana skin. That could probably go outside. We've got both. Oh yeah. So, uh, rookie mistake there. Since building those, I forgot about that turret. Can we... We can't... Mm. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Let's put some more power into here whilst we've got a little bit of steel. We've got quite a bit of steel now it's been all hauled in. So let's go around the outskirts of that. Quite happy to leave that as metal because if any of these blow up, there's a chance it's going to take out the medical bay. And if I've got people in the medical bay at the time, that's not going to be too good. So we can we can afford to do that, I think. And then we need to bring this across here and here, and that should hopefully mean there's no breaks in the power circuits and um, maybe I should probably look at getting a solar panel. Is that, did I just randomly put a sleeping spot down? Yes I did. Let's just put three down. Awesome. And then we need one more turret. Go there. No. Want these all down the way. Anything which can cause any sort of line of sight issues. We need gone. Get daddled. That's me just being anal on those two, but never mind. A tidy colony is a, has, has a tidy mind. How's my food coming along? 44%. Sewer comes okay. Oh, we got a mad animal. Right, slow you guys down for a second. What do we have? A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack anyone it sees. Where are you? Maddened manhunter moving. So, Victor, sorry, matey, interrupt your sleep. And Soto, was it? Yep. Wow. Was that a one shot kill? Victor's a badass. So, we'll get you into some sort of refrigeration type styly. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad. I think I'm pretty happy to leave it there, in all honesty. Uh, we, we definitely put stuff together a little bit quicker this time round. Uh, there's definitely a colony here. I don't think... Uh, I think the trick was I just spread myself too thin last time, considering what I had. And uh, everyone seems to be working in unison like one machine at the moment. It's a shame that machine is a, a nose hair trimmer at the moment. But again, that's something we can improve, improve upon next time. So thanks for watching, guys, as always. A, a, a like is, is always appreciated and uh, stuff like that. And I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Wait.